Hey guys. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, Mary, for inviting people. Hey, Alicia. Hi guys, while we're waiting for everybody to come in, I just uh, wanted you to see, you know, here's what I look like. Yikes. And, um, got me my kombucha, and I'm all ready to, um, which has made me very happy, and I'm ready to go. A new flavor today, some uh, lavender. If anybody is a kombucha fan, I, one of my other hobbies is brewing. Oh, thank you about my hair. These are my natural highlights. I've had them since I was in my 20s. <laughs> Hi Sharon. So, um, I'm, uh, let me take a minute to get set up here while we get everybody in. And um, Mary, this is not showing up on my uh, iPad. How do I make it show up on my iPad? I need to be able to watch it on my iPad while I'm recording so that uh, I can see your comments. Yep, the app's up. I've got it up. But I'm recording from my phone. And I'm not seeing my thing on there. Boom. Well, poo. All right, peeps. Um, that will mean that um, we, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, so I'm going to switch it over so you can see the cookies. And, um, but since I can't, won't be able to see my phone, you're going to have to hold your comments. Um, yep, logged on, it's sitting right here. So, anyway, um, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Um, anyway, I'm going to switch it over so you can see the cookies. And then, um, hold your, I won't be able to answer your, your questions or your comments. So hold on to them until the end. Hopefully, um, we'll get everything. So hold on just a second. Woo, okay. Alrighty, that makes me mad that I can't get it to come up on my iPad. Oh wait, there it is. Yay, I got it on! So now, I should be able to so see... Now, I should be able to uh, see... I be able to let me take the sound down. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is only my second periscope. So... We'll get we'll get started here, and it'll be um, a little bass backwards, but we'll be okay. Can everybody hear me? All right. All right. So, what the the reason I um, do this um, wood grain is that um, I wanted to. Um, have a the number one reason was I wanted to have a soft icing. My icing, if anybody's ever tasted my cookies, is really soft. Um, it's just the way that I like it and the way that my customers like it. So um, I want to keep it that way. Taste is always first and foremost. Hi, cat. And um, so I wanted to keep it soft. And when we do some of the other wood grain, where it's um, 
where you're giving some texture to the icing, it tends to get hard and a little crunchy, and I don't like that. Uh, I, to me, flavors first and foremost. Um, so I wanted a soft icing. I needed something um, that showed layers of colors, but also that was really simple and easy to reproduce. So I played with this a little bit, and here's this is what I came up with. So what you'll need are, I just pulled out some cookies out of my freezer, um, and I iced them yesterday. I have some, some plain white ones. I've already started a couple other ones I'll tell you about in a little bit. They'll need to be pretty hard. You'll need um, an airbrush. Can you see my airbrush here? Um, you'll need a fan brush. Can you see that? The fan brush is just one that you can get at Michael's and um, it's got these really wide but thin <laughs> I have a gorilla pod that's how I got it up on the copy cake so the the pole on the copy cake uh, works really good I can't see the comments now I actually got it to work Mary so um, Anyway, you'll need a fan brush. Can everybody see that? Can you see the fan brush? It's just a regular fan brush. Um, a stiff one that you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And it's regular one used for painting, but of course this one has never ever been in paint. This has only been used on cookies. Um, you will also need water. You'll see I have some water here. And you'll need some food color. I use it on a plate when I'm doing this instead of a, um, a, a palette because that's why because the, the brush is so wide it won't fit in the palette. And today I'm using I've made like a gray color here. I also have an ivory and a brown, a chocolate brown. So traditional um, colors for wood. You'll need some paper towels of course. I've got some handy dandy toothpicks and um, cookies that are iced of course. And I again I prefer to start with white because I think that gives it some depth of color. I um, So the first thing you do is uh, on this is after your icing is set you um, airbrush a little bit of color on or a lot of color that provides a little bit of depth to it and I've already pre airbrushed because we're going to do some different colors of wood um, some a gray here and a blue even and some red but I'm going to go ahead and do um, one cookie kind of a maple a light maple and I've got my handy dandy duff here so we'll do a light maple color so it's not going to need a lot of airbrush color at all very very little and it doesn't matter how even it is because wood is very imperfect and then on the other one I'm going to do a darker pine so I'm going to add a little bit more brown to this one than the other one and again it, it doesn't matter if there's splotches or if it's darker in some places than others because it's all going to get covered up anyway. Alright, so I've got the darker brown, a lighter brown, a red, which is going to be kind of like a barn wood, some blue, with, and once it's mixed with brown it'll look more old, and some gray, again for like that reclaimed kind of wood look. So let's start with the light brown. We've got that airbrushed on, it's nice and it's already dry because we didn't put a lot on. So what we're going to do is get our brush a little bit wet and I use the paper towel a lot to air to, to dry it. And you see when it gets wet it starts to separate. And that's good because that, that's what gets you the grain. And again we're going for a sanded wood grain. So because this is a maple I'm going to get, I'm going to use the ivory. I'm going to use a lighter color. 
So I'm going to get it a little wet here. Can you see that? We're getting it taking some of the solid and kind of mixing it with some water to get it wet. Now you don't want a whole lot on your brush so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, wipe it off a little bit and then we just start Yes, I did start with airbrush color. No, this is not airbrush color. This is regular Ameri Amerigel color. But the airbrush color is what I started with. And water works better than vodka because it blends the colors a whole lot better. So you can see already that it's starting, I hope you can see, it's starting to get a little bit of, of the grain on there. But what I want too is I want a little bit of that, um, like the rusty nail holes or the, um, the knot holes. So to do that, I take my toothpick and I get a little bit of the chocolate brown here and just randomly I can put like a big knot of, and it doesn't really matter how you put it on there. I'm going to just put one big one and one, maybe a couple of small ones. And you can put it in a line, in a circle. Yes, I'm sorry. I have a French Bulldog and she <laughs> is really, really loud. I also have an English Bulldog, so it's a good thing. He's not drinking right now. I'm so sorry. All right. So we've already brushed a little bit of the ivory on. I'm going to get a little bit more. And watch what happens. This is the trick. This is the big thing. Is once you start brushing through, it just blends in. I'm going to get a little bit more water. It's getting a little dry. The dog is done drinking. All right. It just starts blending in. And now the trick is, and you you never quite know how these are going to come out, is just to keep brushing back and forth until you get what you want, until you get that look that you want. And you can get the edges and, and um, just keeping in mind that this is all about the process. And wood is imperfect, so you're never going to get the same result twice. Can you guys see that? I don't know how well it's focusing. Can you see it? It's not focusing very well at that distance. So we had a bigger knot hole there, and then a smaller one. So that's like a lighter colored one. I'm going to do a darker one here and I'm going to get a little bit of the chocolate brown and again I'm just dabbing off as I go yeah almost a burned old wood you know I didn't want to go for planks I just wanted you know like a flat piece of wood alright so some of the brown And see how that fan brush just leaves like the perfect irregular streaks on there. I love it. No. Um, the water will blend the color better. And you're not, I'm not using a ton of it. Just, uh, you know, just a little bit. Now you can't do it on, you. this is icing that's set up overnight. I'm going to do this one with one, like a line of, of brown here. Yeah, you just don't use very much water, just a little bit of water. And make sure your icing is super dry, like mine's been setting up all night. All right. 
Here comes that magic again. And this is the part I love because it just like, I, I don't know why how it does that, but it does and it does a really good job. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of ivory because the ivory is a little yellow. It gives it a, it'll give it a little more yellow. And I know on Periscope the videos, the quality isn't awesome. But I think you're getting the general point. So you can see that there's a difference now between the like the pine color and the more mapley. Yes, and I wish you could see it, but it does. It there some of the white still sticking through, some of the airbrush color is still sticking through. It it does add a lot of um, depth to it. So let's do some red barn wood. Oh yeah. The second one, closer, closer. I was just watching Silence of the Lambs, so excuse my Hannibal Lecter. Um, come on. There we go. Excuse my Hannibal Lecter impersonation. Can you see that? And don't fiddle with it too much. Eventually, if you play with it too much, it's just going to be one solid color. All right. So let's try the red. And see what it does. And you can see I'm dabbing it off every time just so it's so I know it's not too wet. And you could you don't have to put on the knot holes. Um, but I find that it just I don't know clues people in a little bit more into what you're trying to do. So they don't have to guess. So now I'm going to put like a circle here and another circle here. I suppose you could if you want it. I, I have thought about trying to do it for planks. Um, the dilemma? Yes, I did lightly airbrush them so that I'm getting some dimension to the color. So this one was airbrushed red to start with. Um, you could do planks, I suppose. You would have to do like one at a time. Like, you'd have to ice it, let it dry, then, it, you know, do all this, and then do the next one. I think I, um, the logistics I haven't gotten to yet. Again, my, my goal when I first came up with this was ease and quickness. I wanted something that looked good, but I could do, you know, in mass quantities without killing myself. But this is all flat. This is completely flat icing. Yes, I will save it to YouTube. I have some other people who aren't on Periscope who want it on YouTube. So absolutely. So this is the red. Oh, yeah. I, I suppose you could do it over a stencil that's cut like planks. And you see, it's different every time you do it. Because you don't know how the that little knot's gonna going to um, how it's going to smear. Let's do a little blue here. I saw some really pretty blue, like a blue maple in IKEA. Yes, the red. I first did that when I did a uh, barnyard, and I was trying to get a um, you know like a barn color. 
red, uh, an old barn color. So I'm going to go back to the ivory with this blue and excuse the shape. Again, I just pulled these out of the freezer. So these would have been, um, the, these would have been uh, cookie butter if not for doing this. So look at that. Look at that blue. That's awesome. I love it. It just started. Yeah, a little bit of green in there. I'm going to add some gray in just a minute to um, make it more woody. Nothing will happen if you don't airbrush it first. It just gives it, it I, I wish you could see it, but you could. there's, there's uh, several layers of, of color there. So the airbrushing this gives it one more dimension of color. So I'm going to use a little gray now to even this out. Um, you can go back and watch it after it's done, but this is airbrushed and then if this is just water. That's the cool thing about Periscope. The videos do stay up for a little bit. And you see how now the gray's going on a little thicker. I may not want it that thick, so I'm going to just keep messing with it a little bit till I get some of it off. That's the nice thing. This is kind of a form. No vodka. I, the water will blend the colors better than the vodka. I mean, you could use vodka, but it's not going to blend the colors as well. I've tried it. So this is more of a, like if some Ikea wood, some blue Ikea wood, and you can see the, like the depth of color. There's several different layers. And I know Periscope videos aren't um, awesome in the, in the quality of the video. Let's do one last one. We'll do like a reclaimed gray one. You like the blue one the best? <laughs> Looks like Hobby Lobby. Yep. All right. So with this one, I'm going to first brush with no color just to spread that gray out on there. And I always use, you can use any color, but I always just use that dark brown for the, for the knot. Um, you could use a black if you wanted to, or an ivory even. And I'm going to go back with the gray again. And with the, with the brown knots, I'll pick up some brown too as I'm brushing through. Are we ready? Here we go. Yes, it's just a toothpick. I'm just grabbing on some icing and glopping it on there. Oh yeah, green. I, I've tried all colors. Get a little more gray here. metallic. Yeah, you could go nuts with this. I mean, there's so many different options. I've just mixed some uh, black and white uh, gel colors in a little pile on my plate. White behaves a little bit differently, so um, but it works. It works really well. <laughs> All 
All right, so there's the the gray one. And I would probably keep playing with it if it, if I wasn't on video. But that is the extent of that. So we've got several different shades here of wood. Any other questions you guys have? You guys have been awesome. Um, this is a skull with the uh, ears cut off. And that's a cloud. Just some extra cookies I had in my freezer that would have turned into cookie butter if I um, didn't use them for this. Yes, it was my pleasure. Thank you guys so much for coming. I, have, I know I've been um, a long time coming on getting this done. And, um, but thank you guys for coming. And, yo, oh, the cookie butter. You like that, huh? <laughs> I did do one. There's a video out now. That was my first Periscope, Patty. I did do one on cookie butter. You're very welcome, Becky. Thank you, and thank everybody else. You can go back and watch it. It's up on YouTube now, Patty. The, the cookie butter one's up on YouTube. Um, if you go on my Facebook page, you can see the... I have a post uh, a couple of days ago that um, where I posted about cookie butter, and in the comments, there's a link there. No other questions? You guys are fabulous. Well, if you have any other questions, my Facebook page, you can come to me there. And... Um, or you can go on my Instagram. So um, I wish you all the very best. Good night. And we will, um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is my sunshine cookies. So my Facebook page is Sister Teresa's Custom Cut Cookies. If you just Google or if you just look up Sister Teresa's Cookies, it will come up, Laura. All right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me get this turned off. Here we go.